turn my steps to the altar of God. I'll turn my steps to the gladness of my life. I'll turn my steps to the altar of God. I'll turn my steps to the gladness of my life. Show your justice in pleading my cause. Let me walk in the way of your law. I'll turn my steps to the altar of God. I'll turn my steps to the gladness of my life. Do not leave me to the will of my foes. O Lord, for false witness rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Dear brothers, I am sisters in Jesus Christ. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on us all. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on us all. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy on us all. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy on us all. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us all. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, grant us to celebrate the mysteries of Lord's Passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I will make you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49 verses 1 to 6. Listen to me, O coastlands, and give attention, you peoples from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother, he named my name. A sharp sword, in the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow, in his quiver, 
he hid me away, and he said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord, and my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, He who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, it is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the preserved of Israel. I will make you a light for the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the response shall be, my mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Response. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. Be my rock, my constant refuge a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. My God, free me from the hand of the wicked. Response. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, my Lord, from my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb you have been my help. Response. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. My mouth will tell of your justice and all the day long of your salvation. My God, you have taught me from my youth, and I proclaim your wonders still. Response. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. Please rise to welcome the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Hail to you, O King, obedient to the Father, you gentle lamb to the slaughter. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 13 verses 21 to 33 and 36 to 38. When he had said this, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, at their loss to him, he meant. One of his disciples the one whom Jesus loved was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and handed to it. Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After he took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. None of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money back, Jesus had told him, By what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So he took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man 
glorified and god is glorified in god will also glorify him in himself and he will glorify him at once my children i will be with you only a little while longer you will look for me and as i told the jews where i go you cannot come so now i say it to you i give you a new commandment love one another simon peter said to him master where are you going jesus answered where i am going you cannot follow me now though you will follow later peter said to him master why cannot follow you now i will lay down my life for you jesus answered will you lay down your life for me amen amen i say to you the cock will not crow before you deny me three times the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord jesus christ one betrayed jesus and another denied there is nothing that hurts as much as betrayal dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ i have so many good friends one of my friend is very trustworthy when he faced challenges in his life as a priest i tried my best to support him he tried to share his pain and struggles with his family members which was in vain they knew the truth but they did not support him because they prioritized their existence and welfare he trusts my support and respect my priesthood i thank god for such faithful warriors within the church and surrounding communities the book of sirak chapter 27 words 17 says that respect your friends and keep faith with them if you do betray a friend's confidence you may as well forget you have a friend judas betrayed jesus for 30 silver coins maybe he did not even think that it would lead to crucifixion dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ let us try to build good relationship let us pause a moment and thank god for all our good friends at times we also experience betrayal from our friends or even from our very beloved family members when we think about those bitter experiences we tend to follow into deep sorrow which will not help us various thoughts might come in like waves in the sea but we have to let it go we should not hold it back lord jesus helps me to reconcile with those who hurt me jesus we trust in you Oh, to Jesus I 
surrender all to Him I freely give I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live I surrender all I surrender all All to Thee my blessed Savior I surrender the road. I surrender all. I surrender all. All oh, to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and your ways may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those who make partakers of the sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we a claim holy 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 lord of power and might heard in heaven sing hosanna in your praise he is blessed who comes in the name of the lord Sing Hosanna in the highest, praise the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spit upon them like the default, so that they may become for this the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his path. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and bring from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Christ is died the Christ is risen the Christ will come again the Christ is died the Christ is risen the Christ will come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you o lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope rafael our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face how mercy on us all we pray that with blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we avoid the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit it is offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take the sins of all the world lamb of god you take the sins of all the world show us mercy and grant us all the peace of christ lamb of god you take the sins of all the world b 
behold the lamp of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who call to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed by the body and blood of christ keep me safe for eternal life amen act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart i embrace you as you are already there in my heart i unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen as the deer pants for the water so my soul longs after you you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you as the deer pants for the water so my soul longs after you you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you you alone are my strength my shield to you alone may my spirit yield you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you yes i long to worship you and i long to worship you communion and the phone god did not spare his own son but handed him over for us all let us pray nourish by your saving gifts we beseech your mercy o lord that by this same sacrament with which you have offered us in the present age you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks be, be to, to god, god. Holy virgin by God's decree you were called eternally that he could give his son to our race Mary we praise you hail full of grace ah we Ah we Ah we Maria Ah we Ah we Ah we Maria